With a new year, you're gonna need maybe a new note-taking app. I don't know, maybe you wanna stick with the main one, but what happens if you don't know about them? And what happens if you just wanna grade the note-taking? You know, you just take what you currently have and move it up a notch. That's why I'm giving you the five best note-taking apps on the market right now, in no particular order. Number one, Ample Note. This is an app I reviewed a couple months ago, and I gotta say, it has really solid markdown functionality, calendar integration, great mobile app, and unlike another app like Notion, it definitely does feel like a digital notebook and is pretty simple. I will never complain about an application that actually has like calendars with blocks in them. It has a task list within it and then a note section. So if you're looking for something that has basic markdown, calendar integration, to-dos, and a solid mobile app, definitely check out Apple Note. Pricing on this is not too bad, as the pro version is six bucks a month-ish, but personal is free forever and has a lot of what you need. Next is actually OneNote. So I am fully aware that OneNote for, OneNote for Windows 10 is better than the current version of OneNote, but the current version of OneNote is not bad. And it is free for those of us that have the inkling to do stuff for free. I won't complain about this because I was able to take notes pretty handedly in college with this. And I know that it's changed a bit, but the application still has nice things. It's got drawing within it. I know it's not nearly as good as people would like it to be on desktop, but on Microsoft services and tablets, this is a great option. And even I have friends who use OneNote as their note taking app at work. If you're looking for something that's simple, easy to use, and less thought of as a productivity app and more just as a core part of the system, I'd definitely try out OneNote. Next is gonna be Craft. So Craft is one of those applications that, well, you have only a limited number of blocks and the pricing is $5 a month after 1,000 blocks. It is definitely one of the better note taking apps on the market. Just going into a page, it feels really easy to note take and it still has some markdown functionality in it and even has things like basic tables that you can pop in here and easily navigate within. It takes what you like about Notion and puts it into what feels more like a notebook app. It has a lot of different beautiful templates that exist for you to browse and check out. For example, one right here exists. And this shows you really how nice your system can be if you use something like Craft the cards are beautiful and navigating within a system that allows you to have such a pretty aesthetic to it is what made this the Mac app of the year a year ago. Next is going to be Obsidian. So Obsidian is one of those really interesting ones where I will say if you're somebody looking for the most advanced note-taking application that has a really nice community, awesome people within there, and frankly the best linking within other applications, and frankly, the best link in within different notes, you're gonna wanna check out Obsidian. Very cool stuff within here. I know I have a very limited set of data here, but in the notes that I took, you can see how cool it is that it has this graph view where it interlinks different parts of it to each other based on how you referenced other ones. The pricing on this is pretty simple. It's free for all the local options, but if you want to go for sync, it's $10 per month or 96 per year. So essentially what this does is it keeps your vault in sync on multiple devices and then publishes the public option. So 20 bucks per month. So essentially you can have like sites through Obsidian. Good friend of mine, Danny Hatcher, uh, uses this pretty extensively. And as you can see, it gets kind of crazy what this graph view looks like over time, but I've never seen a better Obsidian publish. I mean, this guy takes daily notes within here. He's had this public journal for a while and it shows the different links that he has within this to each other. It's really cool what you're able to do within this. He's made an entire YouTube channel kind of talking about it and going through this and other productivity apps. So if you're ready for advanced note taking, definitely check out Danny's channel and Obsidian. Last but not least, the free forever option for Notion for personal use is amazing. I think it is obviously my favorite app on the market. I'm a Notion consultant. If you need any help with it as a business owner, please let me know. But the fact of the matter is, from a database perspective and an overall life management perspective, it's so nice. I have my meeting notes all within here. I have my task management where I put my ideas in my second brain. And I have a myriad of templates for you to choose from if you need help with it. The reason I like this application so much is that it can be free for those who really want it to just be free note taking, but it can be advanced enough to go from not only a personal use to to entire team use where you can have awesome project management, note-taking, 
onboarding, all those kinds of things. I've created a system that plenty of people are enjoying right now, and I hope that you will check out the Notion app system, which you can find down below. I also think Notion is going to be doing a lot in regards to integration soon, so you'll finally be able to have things like Google Calendar integration, subtasks, and recurring tasks that actually assign it to a date property. If you wanna learn more about apps like this, make sure to check out this one right here.